so you built a color tracking robot yep. and the the robot is is a is a Sony camcorder. It's called the eye of the robot. The eye of the robot. It has one, it has one single eye. <laughs> sitting on top of an FPGA board, a DE2, mm -hmm. and then that's sitting on a piece of uh, foam core with the motor drivers on a separate board. And the, the power supply is external, but it's, it's driving the servos through two long wires. Mm -hmm. And then this is what the, what, the, what the robot is seeing. So put the blue target down in front of it now. Let me see if I can. So it, 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 it is detecting the... What the algorithm is it using? What the algorithm is it using for steering? What? We have divided the screen into three different sections. Uh -huh. So if uh, the first ten pixels are in the center section, it just moves forward. If it's uh -huh. towards the left, it rotates by forty-five degrees to the left and uh -huh. then moves forward. If uh -huh. it's right, it rotates 45 degrees to the right. So most of the pixels, the blue pixels that it detects, has to be in a certain region rather than the other. So the further away it starts, the better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. We could have made it more accurate. Yeah. I mean, why not? Why not just t find the average and find out how far off center it is? The yeah. average of the pixels. Yeah, of the blue pixels, because then you could get more proportional steering, right? Because this is kind of what you call bang bang steering. It's either going forty five degrees left or right. Yeah. And if it and if it happens to be at twenty two degrees you're gonna overshoot it every time, which is what yeah. was happening there, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Uh huh. Let's try it again. But set it back over towards the Okay, one more time. Put it back over there. Oops, camera timed out. Mm -hmm. Well, so we set it. I think it's stuck on the wires. 